welcome to the New Brunswick Adventures. On this episode, we are visiting Grand Falls, New Brunswick, zigzag to zip line across the mighty St. John River. With steep rocky cliffs on either side and the roar of the waterfalls below, a zigzag ride is the best way to experience the raw majesty of the gorge. Come join us as we zigzag across the St. John River in Grand Falls, New Brunswick. The St. John River is a 673 kilometer long river that flows from northern Maine into Canada and runs south along the western side of New Brunswick, emptying into the Atlantic Ocean in the Bay of Fundy, the home of the highest tides in the world. Eastern Canada's longest river, its drainage is one of the largest on the east coast at about 55,000 square kilometers. You're just saying you're in good physical health, so no heart problem, no back problem, you're not pregnant, and that you're under 275 pounds. Very, very nervous. So you can put one arm in here. You will just turn these little wheels towards the back. And it's going to tighten on the head. If you don't want it too tight, just snug so it doesn't move around too much. So you're all set. I'm good. I'm ready. Okay, well, you can just head outside with the guys and you'll be all set to go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, are you Robin? Yes, I am. Are you ready to go zipping? I think so, yeah. We'll take great care of We've only lost two this morning. <laughs> Just kidding. Good. That's good stat. Ernest, as well as sending you. And on the other side, the boys will be operating the brakes and receiving you, so it's completely hands-free. You don't have to worry about a thing. We'll do everything for you. I'm going to show you how we hook someone up onto the zip line. Colin's gonna be our little guinea pig. He's gonna do this all himself. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take your black cord, which is your safety cord, and we're gonna hook it onto the yoke right there. The safety is the first thing we hook on and last thing we hook off, so you never have to worry, you're always secure. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take your trolley, and we're gonna hook it onto the zip line just like this. Then I'm gonna get you to turn around and face the pole. You're gonna put both hands on that black cord, and you're gonna bend your knees and take a seat. This is when we test your harness, so if there's anything that's too loose, too tight, pinching, or uncomfortable, just let Either me or Michaela know and we'll adjust it for you. If everything's all right, we're gonna get Colin to stand right back up. We're gonna look to the other side and we're gonna get the all clear from Brandon that everything's good to go. And then, after all that, we're gonna take that black cord once again. We're gonna transfer it over. We're gonna put it right there next to your trolley. I'm gonna get you to hold on to both lanyards nice and tight right by your stomach. And then all you have to do is bend your knees and on go. All you have to do is pick up your feet. Good, we're gonna get Colin to bend his knees and on go pick up those feet. So in three, two, one, go. So Colin's a bit of a show off and he likes to lean back like that, but you won't that, that won't happen to you because your chest are Oh my god. Yeah. It's getting real, eh? Oh I don't want you that to happen. So in three, two, one, go! There you go, girl! Watching the New Brunswick Adventures. Hi, my name is Christine Wallet. We're here at Zipzag in Grand Falls, New Brunswick. Um, we do zip lining over the gorge in Falls. Uh, our guides do all of the hooking, unhooking, and breaking, so it's absolutely hands-free. 
There's no age limit, it's a weight limit between 50 pounds and 275. Our youngest participant was three and our oldest was a 95 year old lady. So it's pretty much open to everybody. We open normally uh, during April and May on weekends only. That's when the water is at its fullest. Uh, the falls are roaring, you get a real mist coming across them. Uh, once school finishes in June, we're open seven days a week until the beginning of September. Um, then we go on to weekends and we close in October. The first line is 550 feet. Uh, there's dual lines so you can go two at a time, which is a lot of fun. You can encourage your friend to go if maybe they're a little bit more scared. The second crossing that brings you back over the falls is 600 feet. And uh, again, it's an activity that can be done by anyone. The platforms are inspected daily as well. All of the gear that participants wear, everything. It's, it's a very safe place to zip one. Our website is www.zipzag.ca. So Colin's a bit of a show off and he likes to lean back like that, but you won't. That, that won't happen to you because your chest harness. Oh my god. Yeah. It's getting real, right? Oh, I don't want it's that to happen. Getting real. I want to be like this close to the cord. Horrible. I feel like my stomach is like in the ground right now. Here's 550 feet. The next zip line is 600 feet, and you're around 93 feet above water at any given time. Oh, okay. Hardest part. <laughs> After this, it's, you're good. Okay. okay, so now I'm gonna get you to turn around and face the pool. You're gonna put both hands on this black cord, and now you're just gonna bend your knees, and you're just gonna sit right back, and you're just gonna sit in your harness. Oh, I don't like this. Take your time. You're gonna let that black cord fully extend. You're gonna slide your hands down it. Perfect, you're doing great. Keep going. There we go. Feels good, yeah. feels secure, yeah. nothing's pinching. No. Perfect, okay, so now you're just gonna turn around. You're gonna face the cord. I'm gonna scream. Do you ever scream? Did you scream your first time? I'm such a baby. Honestly, I, I was terrified of heights before I did this, and I needed a summer job, so you know, you just now pick and you choose do your battles. All the time. It's really rewarding, because yeah. I'm not afraid of heights, so. Yeah, and now I'm gonna like go home tonight and have like vertigo no, or something. No, when I get to this other side, I'm gonna look at you and say, did you have fun? And you're gonna say yes. No. <laughs> and if you didn't, if you don't, we're gonna do that walk of shame on the bridge together, because then you won't be able to do the second one. <laughs> you ready, girl? No. Okay. What am I holding on? Do I hold on to this thing? Yep. No way. Eh? So I'm just going to get the... Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to take your safety. I'm going to mm -hmm. hook it right here. Can on I top hold of your trolley, you're going to hold on to these two lanyards. Okay. Okay, until you get past the gate. Once you're past the gate, you can either let go. Nope. Or you can hold on the whole time, and that's what, exactly what I'm sure you're going to do. Yep. So you do that. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to bend our knees. And on go, we're just gonna pick up our feet. So you're just gonna sit right down. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna count down and I'll go and close your eyes and you just have to pick up your feet, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So in three, two, one, go! Brunswick Adventures. Feet okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So in three, two, one, go! That is the worst part. <laughs> Not too scary? No, no, once you're out, it's fine. Yeah. Kind of like jumping out of a plane. That's the hardest part. Hardest part. Okay, so now you're just gonna bend those knees. Now go, you're just gonna pick up those feet, okay? Yeah. So in three, two, one, go! <laughs> Good, Glenn, it wasn't that bad. 
Thank you for watching another episode of the New Brunswick Adventures.